American Medical Association started warning people about excess sugar consumption over 75 years ago, based in part on our understanding that you know, sugar supplies nothing in nutrition but calories, and the vitamins provided by other foods are sapped by sugar to liberate those calories. Hence, added sugars aren't just empty calories, but like you know, negative nutrition. The more added sugars one consumes, uh, the more nutritionally depleted one may become. Given the totality of scientific evidence, the FDA decided to make processed food manufacturers declare added sugars on the Nutrition Facts label. The National Yogurt Association was livid, opposing the added sugars declaration, uh, since they needed added sugars to increase their product's palatability. The Junk Food Association questioned the science, uh, whereas the ice cream folks seemed to imply consumers would be too stupid to use it, so better leave it off. The world's biggest cereal company, Kellogg, took a similar tact, opposing it uh, so as not to confuse the consumer. And should the FDA proceed with such labeling against their objections, added sugar should at most be communicated in a footnote. See, their goal is to provide consumers with useful information so they can make informed choices. This from a company that describes their Fruit Loops as packed with delicious fruity taste, fruity aroma, bright colors made with whole grains, and lightly sweetened, a good source of fiber. Lightly sweetened Fruit Loops has more sugar than a Krispy Kreme donut. Fruit Loops is more than 40% sugar by weight. The tobacco industry used similar terms like uh, you know, light, low, mild to make their products appear healthier before they were recently barred from doing so. Now sugar interests are fighting similar battles over whether their healthy, natural, lightly sweetened terminology is similarly deceptive. Uh, but just uh, look at all those vitamins and minerals they added. Uh, that was one of the ways the cereal companies responded to calls for banning sugary cereals. Uh, General Mills defended the likes of Frankenberry Tricks and Lucky Charms for being fortified with essential vitamins. Sir Grapefellow, I learned, was a grape-flavored cereal complete with sweet grape star-bit marshmallows. But don't worry, it was a vitamin charged. Sugary breakfast cereals, said uh, Dr. Jean Mayer from uh, Harvard, are not a complete food, even fortified with you know, eight or ten vitamins. I think your point is well taken, replied Senator McGovern, uh, that these products may be mislabeled, perhaps more correctly called candy vitamins than cereals. Plastering nutrient claims on the box can create a nutritional facade acting to distract attention away from unsavory qualities such as excess sugar content. The majority of parents have been found to misinterpret the meaning of claims commonly used on children's cereals, raising significant public health concerns. Ironically, cereal boxes bearing low-calorie claims were found to have more calories on average than without such a claim. So it's like the, the cereal doth protest too much. Even candy bar companies are getting in on the action, bragging about their protein content, uh, uh, because it has some peanuts or something, but it's also a candy bar with 50 grams of sugar, you know, just like you know, Fruit Loops could be considered breakfast candy, as the same serving would have 40. Given research suggesting consumers believe front-of-package claims, perceive them to be you know, government-endorsed, and use them to ignore the Nutrition Facts panel on the back, there's been a call from nutrition professionals to uh, consider an outright ban on all front-of-package claims. The industry's short-lived Smart Choices label was uh, met with disbelief when it was found adorning qualifying cereals like Fruit Loops and Cookie Crisp. Uh, the processed food industry spent more than a billion dollars lobbying against the adoption of more informative labeling, a, a traffic light approach, uh, railing against the suggestion that any food might be too high in anything.